So the 2023 March for the Babies here in Melbourne has concluded. I'm here with the President, or is it Chairman of the March for the Babies, Bernie Finn? It is President and I'm very, very pleased that it's over because it is, uh, it's a huge job. Uh, and we've had a very, very successful day um, and uh, uh, thousands of people gathered in Melbourne today for exactly the same reason we gather every year and that is to reach out to mothers, to protest and, and, and to, to remember the babies that have been killed over the last 12 months and to let the community, the media, um, the politicians know that we are not going to go anywhere until we get justice until we get a law which protects all children before and after birth. And as you said this is just not another political issue and that's why there was well I, I think about 2,000 here today even though it's a week before the The Voice mm. referendum. Lots of people made the effort to, to come and make their voices known, pardon the pun, yes. uh, that, that yes. this this fight to protect the unborn isn't going to go away. Well, yes, they did. And uh, I, I remember Maxine Moran, the Minister for Women, uh, who said after the 2008 abortion law was passed, she said, uh, this issue is dead. This issue is over. Uh, it's, it's finished. Uh, she lost her seat at the following election, of course, uh, on that issue. Uh, and uh, I, I just would say to her, I'd say to all her friends, that we're going to keep, keep coming back here. And uh, yeah, there were two or three thousand here today, but I think next year we'll have a lot more because there are a lot of people who are out campaigning uh, uh, today for, on, on the voice issue uh, in, in preparation for uh, for next week. Uh, but I think there are a lot of a uh, lot of people who a lot more people uh, who will be here um, next year, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. Uh, now, there's normally a, a counter protest, a pro-abortion rally. Uh, about 10 years ago it got really violent, but it got cancelled, the, the, the Facebook event. All they could muster was uh, two women with, uh, a, with, a, with a blow horn and coming up on stage that, uh, at the outside uh, Jacinta Allen's office. That was it. Yeah, that was it. That, that really surprised me. I've not uh, seen that before. Ten years ago, as you say, we had uh, a particularly um, violent demonstration where uh, people were, were seriously injured. Uh, and um, I, I, I've got to say, I rang the police minister that night. Uh, I rang the chief commissioner. I was not happy, to say the very least. Um, and I was in a position to do it then, of course. But um, uh, now, uh, the, the, uh, the pro-abortionists seem to have gone away. Uh, and uh, that's a good thing as far as I'm concerned because they are, they are sad, uh, they are, they, they're a sad group of people and as I said when I, you know, the, the, when, when we were attacked a little bit earlier, um, I said, you know, to, to our people, I said just pray for them uh, because they need help, they need help, you know, they are, many of them are, uh, carry on as if there's, there's something severely wrong with them uh, and I think it's sad. Well, the Victoria Police today swiftly dealt with them, which I give them credit for. Uh, now, obviously you just missed out on getting re-elected to the Victorian Upper House last year mm. uh, under the Democratic Labor Party banner. It would have been a dream to have both you and Moira Deeming uh, representing the, the West, uh, though they kicked you out, the, the Liberal Party, and now they've done the, the same to her. I'm not sure if they're just going to keep doing this to MPs that uh, whose views they, they, they don't like. Yeah, well, they seem to have it in for Conservative Liberals uh, from the Western suburbs, so um, I, I I assume that uh, that will be the attitude that they'll have from here on in. But I, I'm certainly, um, you know, I'm, I've moved on. Um, I'm running for uh, Family First for the Senate uh, next year, and that will be uh, something, or next year, maybe the year after, who knows? I think it'll be next year, but uh, that's something that I'm, I'm particularly looking forward to. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling very, very much at home uh, in Family First. Uh, they're a great group of people, uh, not worried about uh, external factors. They, they're just totally committed to the issues um, that we are all committed to to and uh, so different to what I'm used to. And I must say you're looking great. You certainly uh, knocked away the, the woo flu you had earlier this year. Yes, I did, yes. And uh, you've certainly got, well, going around again, you've still got a lot of fight in you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared to turn up the toes yet. Uh, there's, a, there's a fair way a fair way to go. There's a lot of lot of things. As I said in my speech earlier, uh, I could have very easily gone to Queensland and, and sat on a beach for the rest of my days. Very tempting it was too. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, I know that there's a lot of work to be done and uh, I'm, um, I'm, I'm rolling up my sleeves and, and getting on with it and uh, taking on new challenges if that's what the bloke upstairs wants me to do.
And I might finish off with, well, you're a, you're, you're, one of your other big passions is the Richmond Football Club. I'm a Brisbane Lions supporter, mm, so mm. I, was, I, I, was, I was quite, um, well, let, let's I say, <laughs> I wasn't pleased to see. There was a few Collingwood <laughs> paraphernalia there. How did that make you yeah, feel? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure whether we should encourage that. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't know whether we want to do that. But look, um, uh, you know, I, I was very sad to see... Um, the Lions lose last week. I, I, you know, I thought they put in a, a, an extremely good performance, and I thought a great effort all year. Um, and uh, you know, I, I like uh, Chris Fagan. I think he's um, pretty solid individual. Uh, so uh, when they lost, um, you know, I was I was disappointed. Uh, when Collingwood won, I was even more disappointed. But um, that's the way it goes. And all I can say is, you know, roll on 2024. Um, the, the, the the Tiger Premiership number 14 beckons and likely to be a, a federal election there as well. Well, thank you for your well, efforts today, Bernie. It's not easy uh, to organise such a big protest like this, especially when there can be disturbances. So great to catch up with you, and I'm sure we'll hear more from you in the next year. Yes, you most certainly will. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, uh, I, I'm looking forward to uh, thanking Matthew Guy and a few others in my maiden speech in the Senate. <laughs> Thanks, Bernie. Good on you. Thanks for that.